Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV Transfer Daily, the show where we take a look at the players that have been linked with a summer move to Arsenal Football Club. And uh, first of all, uh, Guna Kamal, who's just sent through a comment, he said, finally, actually woke up because of the thunder. You must have talked about yourself, mate. I've been up for ages. Ready to get into the Arsenal Fan TV Transfer Daily. We're going to get straight into it right now. The rumours that have been flying around. And the first one is about a player that plays for Barcelona. Um, and no, I'm not talking about Cesc Fabregas. I'm talking about Pedro, that really quick, tricky um, winger they've got, Spanish international. Now, you think to yourself, why would Barcelona be willing to sell Pedro? He's such a good player. But if you really look at it, he's so much of a, a big part player for them. He's, he's always often does all of his best performances off the bench and... The player himself may be looking at it and thinking, I want to have some first-team football. Of course, at the moment, um, Barcelona are on a rebuilding exercise uh, where they're trying to rebuild after a pretty poor season by their standards last year. And Pedro is apparently available, and Arsenal are interested. They were interested um, last season, but it didn't happen. And <clears throat> they're interested again. I'm not sure what sort of fee this would be. I, I think it's probably be around in about the 20 millions. But Pedro coming to Arsenal, playing on uh, on the flanks, you know he can play actually on either flank, I think would be a very good addition if they can make that happen. So going to be really interesting to watch this one. Spanish international, of course, very pacey, very skillful, good cross of the ball, and would be a very, very good addition to Arsenal if they were able to nail him down. Another winger that um, has been spoken a lot about today is Antoine Griezmann. Now, We've known that this guy, yet again, another player that's been linked to Arsenal for a very, very long time. French international, plays his football in Spain for Real Sociedad, and he's had rave reviews. Last year, scored a lot of goals, was one of the best wingers in La Liga. Plays down that left-hand side, a place where, an area of the field where I think at Arsenal we have a problem, because we have Lucas Podolski who plays there. To me... I don't think it's his natural position, although we saw him come on in that position yesterday for Marcus Royce um, um, for Germany and score a goal and you know create three other goals. And he scores goals for Arsenal in that position. However, I think that we need a player down that left-hand side for Arsenal that's going to be really fast, <clears throat> a good cross of the ball, you know, and just that's his natural job, playing on the left-hand side. I think Podolski can be more effective sort of playing as a sort of number 10 or as cover on that side. But I think we need a ready-made player for that. And Antoine Griezmann is a player that also are looking at heavily. French international, of course, going to be playing at the World Cup. And he's really, really highly thought of. And, of course, there's not just Arsenal that are chasing him. Lots of other clubs are after him. Liverpool are after him. And we're hearing today that Paris Saint-Germain, um, are interested in it as well. And that always spells problems when you hear Paris Saint-Germain. Number one, they're a French club, so you'd be able to go home. And number two, they've got lots and lots and lots of money, and they can pay some ridiculous wages. So it's going to be really interesting to see. I know that Antoine Griezmann, you know, I heard it um, through the grapevine that Antoine Griezmann is a player that Arsenal really, really would like to bring into the club. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens on that front. But lots of other clubs interested in Griezmann at the moment. Another player where there's lots of other clubs interested in, but the player himself has declared that he wants to come to Arsenal. I've heard a little rumour um, through the grapevine for a very good source of mine, my resources, <laughs> as one of the uh, guys in one of our videos said um, about a month ago. But uh, listen, I'm no ITK, but this is just something that I heard, that this player was definitely coming to Arsenal, and that's Loic Remy. Now, Loic Remy has apparently said to a lot of the other clubs that are in for him, listen, I only want to go to one place, and that is Arsenal. That's where I want to play my football. I want to play for Arsene Wenger. I want to play for Arsenal. I love the style of how they play, and that's where I want to go and play my football. Liverpool are after him. Uh, listen, practically every club going are after him because they know that he's a proven goal scorer. They know what he brings to the table. Very fast player again. Um, the pace and power of him is something that appeals to a lot of clubs up and down the Premier League and beyond. But he wants to come to Arsenal. Would cost about £10 million. He's got a buyout clause of £10 million at Queen's Park Rangers. And I think would be 
excellent addition at Arsenal. If we could get Loic Remy in with Giroud, Sonogo, but as I keep saying, we still need another striker apart from them. We've only got two at the moment, remember. So if we've got Loic Remy and another world-class striker, all of a sudden we've got a forward line that puts the frighteners under any team. So I'd like to see the Loic Remy do happen, but I'm just hoping that it's not going to be, that's it, just Loic Remy. You know, we need another world-class striker to, to add to that. And let me just say about one more, and uh, this is a rumour that's it's been going around for a while, and it's been gathering pace again um, the, all this week, and again today a lot of the newspapers are going really heavy with it, and it's Ika Casillas. Now, we know we need a goalkeeper, um, now that Lucas Fabianski has gone, and we're to be, you know, like, I've been talking about backup goalkeepers. I mean, we talk about David Marshall yesterday from Cardiff, but Ika Casillas is, you know, he's just won the Champions League. He's a, a World Cup winning goalkeeper. He's going to the World Cup um, with Spain. As, uh, I think he's a captain, right? And would he come to Arsenal and play second fiddle? Well, surely he wouldn't because he, for starters, he costs Arsenal a little bit of money. His wages would be about £90,000 a week. So you can't bring in a goalkeeper on £90,000 a week to play second fiddle. Now, he's, he's 33 years of age, but in goalkeeping terms, that's not even that old. He's got experience to burn. He, listen, he's a world-class keeper. But if we did, say, get Ika Casillas, would that mean that Chesney becomes number two? Do we need Ika Casillas? Or were we better off going for a David Martian or a John Ruddy or somebody like that Somebody that can battle it out with, with um, Chesney, somebody that um, would be okay in the number two role until they could try and break themselves into the team. Really, 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 really weird one, that one. I'm not sure about the Ika Casillas things because I just can't see how Ika Casillas would want to come here and play as a number two. He's not going to. So what does that do to Chesney? But we've been heavily, heavily linked um, with a move with him today. Um, let's just try and see if I can get a couple of your comments just before you go. Before I go here, um, Zane Oliver says we're in for Pedro. That would be brilliant. So you know he he would love to get um, Pedro in. Lewis W says we need to make a bid for Griezmann. That's true because you know what? we're being linked with all these players, right? But they're just links. You know, I mean, Ivan Gazidi said the other night that we're talking to you know big big targets and you know, but. Oh, you know, we, we want to hear something. We want to see a bid or something. Um, I was trying to avoid this subject, but Dave Daves has brought it up. He says, Seth must not sign for Chelsea, even if we don't want him. Um, if I only had a choice of um, playing for Chelsea for 200000 um, a week or spending the rest of my days in a shop doorway with matted hair while sitting in my own urine and poop, the doorway here I, I come. That may be for you, mate, but for a professional footballer, he's going to want to play and he will take those big wages. And listen, at the end of the day, there's not no massive loyalty in football no more. We, 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 we can't fool ourselves. Um, I Harps the HD says, Pedro and Griezmann would be perfect for us. They both play on the left wing, Walcott on one flank, and one or two of the other, on the other flank, that would be deadly. And um, let's see if I can get one more in here. Uh, who's, who's talking about? Ah, Thomas Clark says, Remy is terrible. Well, Thomas, I don't know what Remy you want. Terrible. Remy's a very good player. I'm not going to go with that. I, I think Loic Remy would be a very, very good addition to Arsenal. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. Um, give us um, some targets, as I, I've been saying this all week. Um, give us some targets that you think Arsenal should be going for. Some of the off-the-cuff players. And look out for some excellent videos we've got coming up over the next couple of days. We've got some really good World Cup stuff. I'm going to be focusing heavily on the World Cup. Taking a look at Arsenal players at the World Cup. Taking a look at some players that are going to be playing at the World Cup that are going to be absolute stars that Arsenal might be able to sign. So make sure you look out for that. And we'll be back tomorrow morning with another version of Transfer Daily. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure.